from BBGA just pushing down mid here. <laughs> yeah, just being picked off there, Inferno. Like Gators. <gasps> oh! That's just gonna leave Redux in a, with a bad taste in their mouth. And right now it does seem like Ilt by Gamers Academy just, you know, has the better take on to site. I mean, they're pushing together, but it seems like Rustun has a really nice angle coming Last through. A 1v1 scenario. Rustun with 35 health might just be able to get this through if he can do a little bit of a troll, but Monsi right around the corner is just gonna pick off the head of Rustun. That's gonna leave one point over to BBG here. Push out, and I don't know if Arctic is quite ready for it. Oh, no, not ready. I mean, you don't really see, you know, this push both through elbow and through main here. Fireball alone on site is going to have to try and rat out and live. And Roostun is going to take them down. Nerfed with that flank is able to take down one as well, leaving BBGA just with two players. It's just the, the journey of nerf, if whether or not you can take him down, and that's exactly what's going to be happening here. Sugar is able to secure a phantom for themselves, but... You know, the rest of Flickbaiters is pushing now. Rustin is going to take down Sugar. Bruno actually able to grab. Rustin might just be within the line of fire. Oh. That's exactly what's going to happen. Shook is just going to be able to take one down, and that first initial pick is going to be huge. Taking out that Sentinel. Taking out one of their fraggers. Ugh. And right there, it, it honestly is just whether or not you can get these picks down, especially with a default like this. That was really unlucky timing, actually, for that Viper on Viper battle in halls. Uh, Monty just looking away there. Verno's ready for the flank, but taking a little long to get this flank off, and that Viper's Pit's just going to cover B, allow this plant to go down pretty safely. Spike planted. Ooh. Shoot with the operator might just be able to get a couple, but I don't know if they're going to peek here. I mean, having that information for Flake Bader is, hey, there's an op. Uh, but I, you have to say, there is a flank coming along. And, I mean, Verno's just gonna shut that down, it doesn't necessarily matter. I think not peeking here is very important, instead it's just gonna happen, the aggression definitely not needed, but it seems like right now Verno, in a really good position, able to get that 3k down, that's gonna leave a 1v1 scenario. All Verno needs to do is hold this plant down, get that information out, and, I mean, using that guiding light, some of that util is going to be huge here. Oh... It is halved. I don't know if uh, there's just <laughs> not going to be enough time, unfortunately. Yeah. There, I think. And that dart can come clear out. And oh, the operator is going to be taken down. Arctic pulling out that Hunter's Fury as well. And they're just collapsing on Ooh. the fireball is going to fall. I like the slow push that I'm seeing coming out from Flick Baiters. It's allowing them to get these picks, but at the same time, then they start to get aggressive. Onto the site right now, it does seem like Arctic's gonna get one with the Operator. I like the Operator play here on the defense. Not, I mean, you don't really see that on a Sova as often, but it does seem like Flick Baiters is just having the time of their lives right now. Monty having this angle they do here. I, I, I have to say, I love the utility that I'm seeing from Flick Baiters. They are using their guiding lights, they're using their util to be able to either execute or peek. And that's exactly what you need to... I'm so nervous for Monsi right now. That poison cloud was so well timed, though, to be able to block the vision of whoever was. Nothing just yet. I feel like I haven't seen an aggression come out from Flick Baiters just yet. They've been kind of. Since they do have Monsi waiting around on the site, but right now it is no! just going to be. Just going to be a takedown for Verno there. The timing to check the camera at that exact moment was so unfortunate, Gompers. I mean, and I think Verno just wasn't going to check. The corner in that situation either, and Nerf able to take down Monsi is going to have that Viper's Pit online taking over B site, allowing for the safe plant, just providing a lot of cover. Untouched, never mind. Blackheart's darts just going to come through that damage, coming straight through the wall. And I mean, the, the clock's already taken. There's not enough time to be able to defuse the spikes, so that's just going to lead to a save round coming out from BBG. So exit for X for Arctic there, but in the end, this is going to leave Flick Baiters having a six to two lead. That blade storm is going to be popped in, mid, in elbow here, and able to take DBG giving in that you know information. Hey, there's a rotation coming through, pushing and pretty aggressive. Let's get this you know rotation coming down, especially now that we see a couple of flanks coming around for BBG right behind Flick Baiters. Hunter Fury coming out, another one in replacement, and that's going to create some damage to the teammate. But I mean, as it is, being able to get that one player is going to be leaving it to a four v four here. 4v4, and also, I just want to point out, I mean, 
You do have Monsi on this pretty late uh, rotation over towards a site, and as I say that, I that Seekers is coming out, and that's going to leave Monsi in a very, very bad position. Location being given away, and Redux is look at the food! Monty's gonna be on the ladder. That's just gonna be a really nasty takedown for Monty here, and this is the post plant. This is the aggression that I've been wanting to see. Here. I mean, you kind of spoke it into fruition there. That shock dart is gonna get a really nice amount of damage off, and BG Shuker is actually gonna take down Burno. 4v4 situation now, but a lot of information is being gathered. Woo! But. I mean, the picks are being gathered as well. BBG! Maybe the aggressiveness didn't work too much because they didn't get the players out, but right now... Oh! Shook had the operator! Not gonna be able to get one, but Colin is gonna be right around the corner. That's just gonna be a bad, bad taste of nerf to mouth. Not gonna be able to use, like, that would be another story. However, it's gonna be this aggressive push through double doors, and Rustin is, Rustin is just gonna take down two. Mm. They have the site. This is a great post plant position here in Fort Weston. Just waiting, a long waiting for somebody to peek. And shoot is the oh shoot oh. is gonna be the bait there. That's gonna lead to that seekers coming through and possibly some damage. I don't know how well this is gonna work out though, and it's just gonna be no. Rustin getting this 4K down. Go for the save here, but oh, it's gonna be a tough situation. I don't know if they are oh. gonna be able to get down that kill on Redux. Being pushed by Verno here as well is not going to be able to live. Verno is going to clean up. Luckily, unfortunately for Monty, it's just not going to be a site that you should have that viper spin. Yeah, I mean, you called these aggressive plays. Flick faders have been getting more and more aggressive out of the rounds. The one Verno's just going to run and mow down Fireball, but the to Toxic Screen is down now, so there is no cover, and the spike has yet to be planted. Spike down Alright. Right now, it is, it honestly is just, it's just a battle of whether or not you can at least get to spike down. And I don't know if that's gonna happen, but Redux, being the, yeah, 14 years old, I can't imagine, you know, being that good at that age, but just being able to get these one taps through, that's gonna be huge. Yeah, that dart's coming through. Monty's gonna be able to get one, and that's just gonna be Rustin round around the corner, making Black Heart's heart just a little bit more black. And right now, just revenge-seeking Rustin wants to at least take Monty out for not allowing them to get that ace down. 30 seconds left, and the spike is not planted. It is literally just ring around the rosy, and right now, are you gonna be able to avenge yourself, Rustin? And it's gonna happen! Monty being takes and nerfed are already just gonna make their way through elbow. No. Fireball here, but no more Fireball's gonna have the upper hand and take down Redux, turning it into a 4v5 plant will be Spike will be planted, sorry, on the B site. Yeah, that's just gonna be a straight push through for flick baiters. I don't know how well that's gonna work and nerf right around the corner. It's just not not the way you want to go, but I mean, you live and you learn, it is the first round. This is the time to kind of feel out for BBG, see what they do. And it seems like BBG is just kind of dominating right now in the pistol round. But Arctic is feeling a little bit cold! It's gonna be two for Arctic, but I don't know if that's enough to be able to let Verno be able to clutch up here. It does seem like Spike is gonna go off pretty soon, and... I mean, Verno needs to go in. They can't be saving on a, on a pistol round here. I think they're just looking to maybe get some some exit frags, but Ooh. able to get one unfortunate with the time of two, and you see the trailblazer coming out to clear that left side of Here. the site. And nerf though, it's just gonna play around. Play around the toxic screen, grabbing two, three kills for themselves. Nerf oh. is here to just close this. Reminds me of Mr. Worldwide, but is he gonna be Mr. Worldwide? That's gonna be one, but. That's gonna be an ace! The first ace of the day! 1v1s using the toxic screen for their advantage, and now... And he's gonna be caught out oh. in the Viper's bit. Really unfortunate. Just pinged by that Sobe utility. <laughs> oh, there's just spray downs coming from the smoke. Oh, Redux getting flashed. Yeah, I don't think Khan's gonna peek that. That's really dangerous territory. That is not a place you wanna be in right now. I mean, Fireball's just getting revenge. You're feeling it right now. Unfortunately, it's just gonna happen again. You did call the Cypher with no burn, though. Cypher did, indeed, 
clearly know. I mean, now that the snake bites are gone, is this the site that you want to be pushing? The flash is coming through. Redux is going to be able to get one and possibly another one with a run. And God, that's going to be a vandal in the hands of Redux. You do not want to mess with this kid. Oof, it's, it's just a massacre. BBGA is just completely trying their best to be able to get onto the A site. Seems like now they're... Yeah, they're coming in for this rotation, but Fireball has really good lurks. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of map control coming out from Fireball, but Redux is just 10 times better getting that 3k down, and it is 2v2. Spike has to be playing it pretty soon here. I think we're going to see a post-plant situation coming out here. Monty's probably going to, in, in the chaos of everything, if I missed out on that, that part, but Snake Bite is going to land just to delay that, that tamp tap a little bit longer so that Blackheart can play for this Hunter's Fury. Delay this a little bit more and... Ooh! Oh my... Fireball truly is Mr. Worldwide when you think about it! <laughs> it's gonna be just getting all of this map control down, not allowing anybody... You know, this is his turf, this is his map! It doesn't matter where you are, the Bruno might just be picked off here. He's gonna use some util, that Guiding Light coming through. But you can't really do much, especially now that majority of the players are down on A site on the side of BBG. A. Motsi, though, maybe the last hope? I don't know. Possibly. He's going to have some mid control down there, and that's going to be huge. Two players of Flickbaiters waiting for at least some information. That's just going to give away Monty's spot, and it's just going to be Redux coming through. 14 year old prodigy. That is insane. Right now, just oh, trying to at least get some damage through. It's gonna be Firebolt against the world, and that's gonna leave the Arctic all by their lonesome con artist. The boss is gonna come up, not gonna connect though, Bruno, in this rat position. He's gonna be able to take down two! Ooh. Are coming through, trying to give some information to Rust on, and that's gonna be a headshot of a lifetime. That's only gonna be. One, one player remaining. Yeah, one player Five being left, down. one enemy remaining on BBGA and Monty against the world. I mean, we know how well Monty can deal, but how well can they deal when it's just... You know, that cyber cage allowing some space to be made with the recon, the drone. Ooh, there's a retake wall, but I mean, Arctic has to be able to get something through. I, the, the recon darts just giving out that information. There isn't necessarily anything you can do about it. The attacking side of BBGA just knew exactly where Cypher to at least eliminate some of the players to kind of get this post plant, you know. At least try to isolate the post plant a little bit, but right now it does seem like it's just going to be a five-man post plant for BBGA, and Blake Bader is having that five-man retake. There is a lot of utility, Ash, that can be coming through here. As that guiding light, as just as I say, that's going to be coming through, but already an annihilation! Bruno not really having the best of times, and it's just going to be a breakdown coming from BBGA! Just stuck in main here and nerf having a marshal here could possibly get well, yeah it's just a wide swing i don't even know what happened it was just a one tap straight through there's nothing you can really do about it but it does seem like click is able to get a couple that's going to be only two players left in monsi's position going to be taken Rustin might just be able to get a couple here that headhunter? Oh no, that is the sheriff in their hands. He might just be able to get something with these close corners, but I mean, you can't really necessarily do anything. It's 2v2 now. It was looking really good for flick beaters, but I mean, the retake. I, it was just strong. It's just an elimination coming down, and Verno only really has a marshal to be playing off of. Just a marshal, but both are, you know, one tap with the marshal as well, but pulling out, it's kind of just given up for free for the taking, and I think that's. Definitely the better way to play this out, this 5p5 retake where you kind of have everyone trying to collapse at the same time, but Fireball's still working, just like through elbow right now. Ooh, this is great Seekers. They don't have to be able to peek out of this Viper Spit, they're just going to be able to get some of that information with the Sky Utility, that's going to be huge. Being able to hear Verge. Verge is on the verge! Oh no, that's not Verge, that's Verno! I'm so sorry, Verno is on the verge of, you know, well, walking through that smoke, but it's clearly just only Monty being able to take this through! That snake bite is in the hands, but Redux is just going to be going in, taking out Monty. It is going to be coming to overtime. We're seeing a lot of overtime. The, I guess, you know, you can see now that majority of the teams and the players on... ...and maybe realize, okay, we can... We can one other and... Walk into a firing spot of three, but able to take one out.
Oh, the reposition here is better. I don't think anybody's gonna pee that though, Black GA or else Monty is gonna be on the wrong side. Oh, it was really huge actually to be able to get that impact kill, take down the spike, just cause a little bit more issues for Flip Faders having to go and recover that burn. Oh, it's gonna take down one though, it's a 2v1 situation now. Spike still has yet to be recovered from B main, can they get the plant down? Oh, and Blackheart is just gonna clean up with that, because we were saying that Flip Faders probably had that round, you know, yeah. in their pocket considering how well they played. Uh, on the attacking side, but now it looks like they're looking tight now, especially since Flake Baiters does have an operator on their side. Redux is not going to be able to get a lot here. It seems like Nerf is trying their best, trying to at least get this down. Selenian, you, you can be a little more lenient towards B. Uh, give, give some give some more players down there. Leave A a little bit empty, and right now it does seem like, I mean, just the push coming through from BBGA and the utility, but Nerf is not letting go. No! It's just going to be Monty. Coming through, trying to at least push, get some picks down, isolate some players, and it's just a 3v3 right now, Ash. That was so unfortunate. You know, the chamber having their back turned, their head peeking out just over the wall there, and that shock dart's gonna come out. Do a little bit of damage on the planter here. 3v3 situation on this retake. No Viper utility set up for the post plant, but we do have a shock dart as well as the Hunter's Fury online for BBGA, so they oh, might no, really have this on. in their pocket. Ooh. Oh, that Hunter Fury almost had it! Oh, it's Where's just missing there? by uh, literally the, the tiniest bit of a hair. But Verno's just kind of getting some damage through with those shock darts. Blackheart's doing a really good job. They're just holding these angles together, and I think that's working out pretty well. Toying around with Verno, getting these jiggle peaks down, that's just gonna be a really hard time not to be able to get this spike the fuse and it's just they're moving up slowly getting that information with the owl drone uh, nerfed being able to get some damage through that's going to be huge but i don't know how well they can play off this even though that damage is there that does not mean it's going to be a promised pick for the side of flick baiters right now it's literally just rustum fighting for their lives and i mean bbg is just going to be able to get it through playing as a team there that's just really gonna help con getting that wall down at least trying to obscure some vision, get that spike and help them from flick baiters. I mean, that sage wall coming up is really hard for that. Silence waiting around. It's, it's just a battle. I, I don't know how much Redux can do, but it seems like Redux is trying their best to be able to get some fireball right around the corner. Reload coming through, and Redux is able to get another, possibly waiting around, but it's just the defusal coming through. Will she be able to stick it? No, sage gonna be taken down by fireball. I. They don't. BBG just doesn't have that utility or you know that weaponry to be able to just push up and, and you know really secure. Maybe just hold back. I I don't even know at this point. Maybe Nerf might just be able to get one here coming through, or it's just coming through. Unfortunately, poor Black Card. The utility is just going to be used, and the timing is going to be coming through. But Khan is just no damage being done. Planted. It's it's spike being planted. It's it's looking weird right now. BBG only having two players and. Flick baiters one having that remaining. you know ratio advantage one enemy remaining yeah it's gonna be going over to flick baiters just as it is oh, oh my god i'm so nervous i don't even know <laughs> i don't even know what to say anymore i'm i'm just stuttering over my own words it's, it's just going by extremely fast and down a little bit more and i just want to point out we do have monty actually sitting all the way in their spawn right now waiting for that rotation Ooh. oh uh, which is what I like that Wool is going to be. A majority of, I mean, majority of site control is just being given over to BBGA. That's going to lead to flake baiters <laughs> not really getting anything. I mean, being able to on here, but waiting for these picks to come first. Oh, they're just going to updraft straight into the crosshair Redux there, but Con Artist is going to take this control of green here fireball ready to take that frag out on burno as well for 3v3 now spike is going to be planted in mid. One enemy <laughs> oh that was a really nice nerf is actually coming right in front of the eyes of fireball pretty soon but we might just beat this together yeah it's just a wide swing from redux and it's over i don't even know this kid is on a whole different level than what i think anyone has been on 
uh, but have this operator. But the hunt is beginning. We have the Empress coming out, and it's going to be an aggression onto site as it is. And this Hunter series doing some damage, but Fireball is going to be doing more. That is going to be one for Fireball. Pushing up, getting another. They might just be able to close this out just alone, but it's just going to be Redux surrounding the corners and kind of hiding, getting those picks down. It is just now up to Monty with this lurk. Being able to get that one is going to be huge, but they have to be able to eliminate Redux. He's just on a roll with this 3k, and that's just going to be Blackheart all by their lonesome. A little scared, 30 seconds left, So, but that spike does have to be planted or else it's game over. R2 in this 2v1 situation. There's one shock dart available, though. Gompers that Blackheart might be able to use to, you know, stave off this retake or the, the defuse for a little bit longer, but looks like Flickbaiters, they are sticking to each other um, on rafters here, and Blackheart's just, just gonna try and clear out the flank, make sure nobody's gonna walk up behind him. Oh, it's a fake. A fake coming through, but, I mean... Yeah. Mm. I actually really want to point out in particular Verno's walls that they do uh, on mm -hmm. the defensive side. I do actually like the wall to negate the push under two. I like the wall on A to negate that push as well. Rather than going for the default, you know, well, most sages are going to wall two, but I like that we are moving away from that meta because I do think that there are a lot more useful ways to move it, like we've seen. I'm going to try and maintain this kitchen control. Maybe get the drop on the players. That would be a uh, snowman. Getting ready for this retake. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left, and no has the flank, but it's just not gonna work out. Oh no, the whiff is one of the worst things that could happen. But Fireball's not gonna be with them today. Absolutely not. It's just gonna be BBGA taking it. it. It knows exactly what's going on, or at least they they should. Fireball getting this aggressive angle, jumping up on top of 410, and the Viper's Pit's gonna be popped as well. Spike down A. Ooh, the double take coming up from Arthic, and that's just gonna leave 40, not 40, 30 seconds left, and right now it's just, can we get this spike down? Shook is by themselves, and right now it's just gonna be an operator in the hands of BBGA. That's gonna be one kill. Well, just to continue to damage the economy of BBGA, and Rustin's gonna be good for one with that tool of forcing a fireball to kind of be that entry power and forcing the resurrection out of con artists as well. Ooh. I'm right there. Coming around, but then the timing actually allowed just flick baiters to walk up. I mean, I also really like Monty. It has this huge flank, and I, the trigger discipline was actually impeccable. Like it's being planted. <laughs> it's just gonna be a shock dart coming through. Arctic has really nice shock darts, but I mean, you can't really do anything. It's 13 seconds, and that spike has to be planted. Some Leo's coming out to try to do something, but it's gonna be one. Possibly another, waiting around. It's taking, there's not a lot of noise to be made. Oh, and it's just gonna be Monty waiting right around the corner, taking out Arctic there. Things could have, like, the potential to fall apart on defense, but Redux is actually just gonna annihilate. She's gonna come out as well, but Fireball doesn't care, she's just pushing in. Oh, I mean, it worked out in the end, being able to take out Nerf is going to be huge. That's just going to be leaving Redux for this defense with a Marshal in hand. Oh, there you go, a Phantom. Oh, the Reston has a really good angle there, just not peeking out in time. It's going to be unfortunate that that Resurrection's coming through, and it's going to be a peek from Verno! One more! Uh, maybe a little bit of over-aggression Fireball might be taking the bait Ooh. here, is going to be taken down. Well, they actually saved the life of Redux for a second there, that's just going to allow them to be able to get being flick baiters with five people for this post plan. Ooh. There's only a little bit to be working off of here for BBGA, especially with Shuk having a slither of health. Yikes. But it's oh! going to be Redux! Being able to jiggle peek that down, and right now Reston getting a 3k. Not being able to get this spike down and defuse, it's going to be going. It's going to be a hard retake, especially considering all of the... All of the utility that is up, all the toxic screens, but Fireball is actually going to get two with the Sheriff there. Arctic cleaning up some of their own, and it's a 2v1 situation. Blackheart here to clutch it out with the Sheriff and a Dream. That's likely going to be double slung here, and Burno.
going to close out this room to be able to find some information here with the owl drone. Ooh. Fire those smokes! You need to be able to play with the team there. Uh, I mean, right now it seems like Shuk is a solo player. Going to get that pick down and it's just going to eliminate some of the players. Great. Bigger ratio for BBGA there. But Redux is not a force to oh. but not his Black Heart though. The shock dart coming through just in with on that Sova pick. Definitely a Sova main to heart. Um, that snake bite is gonna come out, not quite deny the plants, but definitely gonna cause Arctic to take a lot of damage in this situation. Not ready for those overhead peak shooter grabbing a 3k for themselves and you know through that one-way angle. It's gonna be good for Fireball this time around though. 4v4 situation now. Monsi's gonna go for the refrag. And I mean flickbait is still, you know, kind of posted up the you may not, not able to get through quite yet. The resurrection is going to come out on Rustin, and there is a lot of map control taken in Kitchen right now, actually. Um, you know, nerfed. You know, has this great lurk. Might be really good for one. And Rustin's just very good at kind of, like, finding just the yeah. edge of people uh, to get those frags off. And a 4v1 just like that. Spike. Run out! Get the one taps. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. But yeah, it, it's just gonna be Rustin helping out the team there. Back off and yeah, use that cloud burst to hide, hide that uh, recon dart as well. And the Hunter's Fury is gonna be forced out to slow that plant. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> and the operator show might have just clutched up. There's not enough time, and it seems like Shook is really just going for it here. BPGA taking this round in their hands. I, I like the slow push that I've been seeing the faders do in the beginning half, but it seems like Shuka's just catching up right there, trying to get aggressive, getting that nice angle. And being able to get that first initial pick, especially on the Sage, is going to be huge. That Sage wall is not going to be there for that plan, and it's going to make it ten times more difficult. The Sage available for flick faders. I mean, Conard is going to pull up that resurrection as well. It's smelling something a little bit fishy, though. Not going to come through, and this is where the challenge truly happens here, Ash. I'm just holding my breath here, trying to see <laughs> what's gonna happen if this Viper's pit- OH REDUX! This Shooter's just gonna check the corner at the wrong second, it's 4v4 bombers! Ooh, I, the Operator's in the hands of Redux. This is looking pretty dangerous, but, I mean, the moment nerfed goes down, it seems like Redux might just be able to pull through here. Yep, it's gonna be a 3k coming out from Redux, he is not a force to be racking with, he's trying his best to get these through the smoke, and Blackheart is waiting around the corner. Gonna be able to get one. Not enough, though. Not enough time to be able to get this defusal down, and it's just gonna be going over to Flickbaiters here for this round. Nine to ten, Flickbaiter slow. Poison's off. Yeah, that's a that's a really hard position to be playing in, but I mean, right now, Rustin being able to get that first pick down, especially on the Viper, that's gonna leave that controller out. So this is gonna make that entry a little bit more easier. Rustin's gonna be able to get another, and that's gonna be huge. Taking out Reyna, not allowing them to get those frags to eliminate the players. Although damage coming through from Khan is just going to leave a wall in the face of Blackheart. And, I mean, of course, Redux having this operator is just going to be just as deadly. But what do you do? I mean, what do you do in that situation? A one-tap coming out from Khan right straight through the smoke. Not allowing Redux to utilize that operator. And that's going to be a huge play. This wall coming through. Viper has to be able to at least get that Molly down. And it's only one enemy, one player standing on the side of BBGA. They have to play for this half. There's only One half right now. The spike is almost, oh, they tried. almost able to be defused, and right now it's just relying on Shuk. Seems to be actually just like the smallest sliver uh, that's gonna allow the plant to actually happen. Didn't quite cover the entire plant area as far as things go, and it's gonna be a five v five post plant situation. Bombers. Some shock darts just flying around. But I think I think this is a really good position for Flake Baiters. They might just be able to get a couple of your fireballs doing really well, being able to frag out, but right now it is a 3k, 4k coming down with just a sheriff in hand. Oh my gosh. And that sage wall though is gonna come out kind of forcing Flake Baiters into this precarious situation. Shuker is gonna get one. Ten seconds down. Spike is gonna get planted, and Shuker's gonna whip that off shot. Gompers 
It's a 4v4! It Empress online as well, this could be anybody's round! Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've seen Fireball get some really nice shots and nasty ones as well, but this Empress might just be able to clutch it up, regardless of how much health Here. is done, how much damage is done on the side of Clickbitters. I, I, I mean, with the shots, it's definitely not gonna help the case. It seems like only one player standing, and right now, it, 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 it honestly it does seem like Clickbitters might just be able to close this round out. Take this time around, taking the A site. Redux is gonna get that opening pick. It's just a bunch of trade-offs coming through, but biggest concern here. I I, I feel like BBG is just kind of giving the sights down. They're not able to hold them, which is uh, you know pretty difficult in itself. But in the end, it's just honestly, Flickbaiters. You can't really do anything. Flickbaiters is just dominating in the post plant, so you have to at least try to do something about it. That wall can only do so much, and right now that defusal is coming through, you can't really clutch it. Black Heart's gonna be able to get this 3K down, and that's gonna be like a 4K. In the name of Black Art, oh, and it was incredibly close. I off like just the jet movement kills, um, kind of being able to stream away everywhere and spotting that headshot box frag as well. But Fireball is going to answer with a refrag of their own. Oh no, Russell! You can't be whipping these shots, but it's not going to be a whip for BBGA. Fireball is bringing the heat, and they are not going to stop. It's looking pretty feisty here. Just a one player standing for flick baiters, and honestly, this is gonna go overtime, Ash. It probably will go for overtime, but you know, I don't want to count fire. Oh! <laughs> it's dangerous too, considering the fact that Fireball is like around the corner here. But Redux is gonna get the drop on them and Rust players of flick uh, of flick baiters. Just waiting. I thought it was going to be a collateral there, but it seems like Redux is only good for one, and that's going to be extremely unfortunate. But 16 seconds, all Blake Bitters has to do is try to, you know, deny this this, this plant left. coming down. It is 10 one seconds. Oh, and right there, having to get this down, there's not much you can do, although nerfed is not going to make it in time. That's going to be a resurrection for free there. But Khan has to be careful. Back B exposed! Oh no, this is extremely one dangerous. Enemy remaining. That's one! And it's not gonna be another! EVGA! <laughs> just completely close. EVGA and they close us off. Ah, uh, the- oh my god. Just the- The trigger discipline from nerfed is so good. It, it's definitely too bad that, you know, they weren't able to clutch out that round. Blackheart taking it home and being able for somebody to be- I feel like now you can kind of get accustomed to the facts that Redix does have that all- Like waiters. They're tried and true, slow push, nerfed. It's gonna be good for Fireball here in mid, who's just overgressed a little bit. Russin's there for this, the flank from A. It's not gonna come out this time around, and Flickbaiters definitely has the advantage here. Ooh, Blackheart's good. Boom! Good for two! Possibly another, but it seems like it's just not gonna work out, turning their back in a very bad amount of time, but all by themselves trying to at least get some spray through i think this is looking pretty good but they have to be able bbga has to be able to take out redux here especially since that operator's in their hand oh i'm so nervous for con artist right now it's gonna walk straight into that but it's gonna be a whiff from redux pulling out the shorty now back to the operator so bring around bring around the rosying here and I like that sage wall that does come out to be able to kind of secure this DP to get a lot more. I think it's gonna go down, and that is 14 to 20.